We are here today for the fourth annual Dan's Taste of Summer. It encompasses two amazing foodie events, the foodie events of the Hamptons. So I'm here with the devastatingly handsome Jeffrey Zakarian, Iron, Iron Chef <laughs> Jeffrey Zakarian, co-host with Katie Lee of The Kitchen on Food Network, and also the host of today's event, Dan's Taste of Two Forks, hosted by Pharrell building. So, hi Jeffrey. Hi, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm just, I, I, this is very heavy, I don't know who made these. Aren't they amazing? Like amazing. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's the most exotic food you ever ate? Wow, that's quite a question. Exotic? Mm -hmm. You know, today really nothing's exotic anymore. Isn't it funny? It's like everything's like right up there. Uh, in, and I eat a lot of stuff on Chopped. And they always try to stump us and tell us, you know, this is the most exotic this, most exotic that. But um, I, I tell you, what's happening now with caviar is amazing. I want to know about that because I can't find good caviar. Well, all the farm-based caviar that we're doing in this country is just spectacular. Really? And they're, they're making caviar now that they actually take out of the sturgeon and the animal lives and they, you know, it's amazing. So, like, it's extraordinary. So I would have to say that I'm really in that camp right now. That's extraordinary. I would love to hear more about that. Yeah, I'm pro caviar. It's just remarkable what they're doing. Incredible. You know, that's one of my favorite foods. That and sweetbreads. Yeah, exactly. Caviar is everywhere, but uh, it's really been great. I've been very disappointed in caviar as of late, yeah, well, and you know, you know I, I had German caviar. Yeah. I had all this other well, strange. This embargo from Russia and this, yes. all that stuff happened, and it just went downhill. But like today, it's just wow. You great. know, I had a business trip to Moscow a couple of years ago, and I had some caviar there, and it was to die for. It yeah, was really it, extraordinary. It <laughs> what do you think of Long Island wines? Long Island wines. What do you love about them? Uh, well, I think that uh, I, you know, I always say that you need to give. Uh, wine at least two decades, maybe three decades, to really prove itself, and it really has so far. So, uh, you know, Long Island wines have proven themselves for at least 30 years now, and I think they're on the map to stay. That's really exciting to hear that you love them. We love them too, especially in the summer, the rosés. Yeah. Um, Where's my glass? What dish? You're going to have plenty in there. We have wine, we have over 40 restaurants and wineries. Know, it's it's going to be amazing. I'm going to let you go after one last question. What summer? Di what dish epitomizes summer for you? Wow. For me? Yeah, for you personally. Oh, God. I would say Greek salad. Oh, fabulous. Made with Long Island tomatoes. Of course. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to let you go taste all those wonderful things. And thanks for being our host. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you.